Okay. So first of all, for preparing this profit and loss appropriation account, we uh, need to do some working notes. So working note. Number one, the profit is 2,25,000, okay? So amount payable to amount payable to C C as manager. So when C was manager, then how much amount is payable to him? Okay. So first of all, his salary, that is 27,000. Yes. It's for the C. Yes. Salary. Okay. When he was manager, then uh, we were paying this amount to him. Yes. Yes. Sir. Oh. And there is a commission of 10% of profit after charging such salary and commission. So commission. So 2,25,000 is the profit. Minus 27,000 is salary. And we have to calculate profit after charging such commission. That is 10%, 10 by 110. 100 plus rate concept will be applicable. Yes? Yes, sir. Okay. So how much amount will be? It will be uh, 1,98,000 into 10 divided by 110. Sir, here they didn't mention after commission. So how can we take it? Yes, profit after charging such commission. So it's not mentioned in the question. It's not mentioned. Okay, read the line uh, number third. C, while a manager, was in receipt of a salary of 27,000 per annum. Yes? Yes, sir. And a commission of 10% of the net profits after charging such salary and commission. Okay. Salary. Yes. yes, sir. Yes. So after salary and commission, means commission should also be deducted. Okay, sir. So... The concept is after charging commission. So first of all, we will deduct the salary and then we will apply this formula of rate divided by 100 plus rate. Okay, sir. Okay, so it is 1, 8, 18,000. And this is 27,000. So total amount payable to C was 45,000. Is this clear? Okay, sir. Okay. Now working note number two, amount payable to C as a partner. Okay, so how much profit share he is receiving? It is one fourth share of profit. Yes. Yes. Okay. So two lakh twenty five thousand to wait profit for the year ended thirty first March two thousand sixteen amounted to two lakh twenty five thousand and uh, okay. Okay, so two lakh twenty five thousand into one by four. So five six fifty six to fifty. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. Uh, so is he receiving the less amount or the more amount? Uh, as a partner, he is receiving more amount or more profit share 
than the partner or in case of partner he is receiving more in case of partner is receiving yes so in the question if you see the uh, the line number 5 actually in the second paragraph in terms of the partnership deed any excess amount which c will be entitled to receive as a partner over the amount which have been due to him if he continued to be manager would have to be borne by a out of his share of profit okay okay sir so any excess amount payable to c on and uh, ever his uh, profit share in case of partner then he will uh, share this loss with a means a has to borne the loss okay sir okay so okay. how much amount he is receiving as extra as a partner so we have to excess. do 56 minus 45 yes excess amount payable to c by a so Eleven thousand two fifty. Yes. Okay. Now we have to calculate a share. Okay. Okay, sir. So for this we have to calculate new profit sharing ratio, and for this we will assume the total profit share. Working note number three. Total profit share. is one and from this one we will deduct the new partner share so balance profit for a and b it will be 1 minus 1 by 4 that is 4 4 minus 1 3 by 4 and uh, then this 3 by 4 will be distributed in a So three by four and his old ratio is three by five, and for B it is three by four into two by five. So A share is nine by twenty, B share is six by twenty, and C share is five by twenty. Because Sir, we have taken one by four because C is sharing in one by four. Yes. Okay. So actually uh this you are saying yes the 1 by 4 yes so uh total profit share is 1 and c is a new partner who is receiving 1/4 yes yes so it is his new ratio yes or no yes and new ratio of a and b is not given in the question yes sir this old ratio of a and b that is 3 to 2 is given but new ratio of a and b is not given yes sir it's not okay now only new ratio of new partner is given so we will deduct from total share okay we will deduct the new partner share from total profit share that is what we assumed it as what okay okay sir so from this one we uh, deducted the new partner share and we got the balance profit which is payable to a and b because we have removed the new partner share from total profit so the balance profit is payable to a and b the old partner yes yes sir and that total profit that is 3 by 4 the balance profit is distributed between old partners in old ratio so 3 by 4 into 3 by 5 and 3 by 4 into 2 by 5 because their old ratio was 3 is to 2 yes sir got it so 920 620 520 520, 520 we have done uh, for denominator to be same yes c share was 1/4 and we have to make denominator same so we have multiplied it with 5 by 5 so it becomes 5 by 
This is the new issue. Yes. Sir. Okay. Now we can distribute the total profit in this ratio. So working note number four, division of profit. So for one second, can scroll up. Yes. Mode. Okay, sir. Done. So division of profit, total profit was two lakh twenty five thousand. Yes. Yes. Two lakh twenty five thousand into nine by twenty. Two lakh twenty five thousand into six by twenty. And two lakh twenty five thousand into five by twenty. Their new profit sharing ratio. So they will get twenty two five one one five zero. One one two and five zero eleven two fifty into nine eleven two fifty into nine one lakh. One thousand two hundred and fifty, and here it is six, so sixty seven thousand five, and here it is five. Five we have already calculated it is fifty six two fifty. Yes, yes, sir. Now, uh, a actual shape. Will be one lakh one thousand two fifty minus eleven thousand two fifty. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, she will be entitled to receive as a partner over the amount which would have been due to him if he continued to be manager. Would have to be personally borne by A. The calculation is equal to. Should be ninety thousand. Sixty-seven thousand. Okay, A and B are partnerships. They are. Am I audible to you? Yes, sir. I can hear. Actually, it is little delayed. I. Asked sometime before, but you received the C while a manager one is receipt of salary of twenty seven thousand per annum and a commission of ten percent of the net profit after charging such salary and commission. So we have calculated to like twenty five thousand minus twenty seven thousand, which is a salary, and into ten divided by one ten. So it is eighteen thousand, and uh, after that. In terms of partnership deed, any excess amount which C will be entitled to receive as a partner over the amount which had been due to him if he continued to be manager would have to be personally borne by A out of his share of profit. Profit for the year thirty first March two thousand sixteen amounted to two lakh twenty five thousand. Actually, share of profit is given, but our share of profit is different from the actual answer. Yeah. Uh, 
we have done the calculation. It is 56,250 for C and uh, he is getting 11,250 extra, which we have calculated here. Yes? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, if he is getting extra profit of 11,250, then this is uh, the profit which this is the loss which will be borne by A. Yes? So it will be 90,000 for A share. Okay. And B share will be 67,000. C share will be 56,250. Okay. Okay, sir. So this is our solution. Actually, there is a difference of 4,500 means uh, 4,500. No, uh, is 6,750. Okay. So this amount cannot be calculated here actually because we have received this 56,250. This amount we have already calculated. <clears throat> okay. Okay, sir. So the amount will be 90,000 and 67,500. This is A profit and this is B profit. So, sir, this okay. the calculation we did for A, we got one lakh. What is that then? Uh, this is his actual share. Yes. Yes. Okay. But uh, the loss is to be borne by A also. Yes. So, this loss is to be borne by A. And this 11,250 is uh, how much we have to take from the share of A. Okay, okay, just one minute. Uh, there is calculation mistake here. Yes. Okay. Now tell me what is your question? This is the question was 11,000 is the means that much we have to take from A share. Yes. Okay, so that was that because C, C is getting extra profit, yes, yes. So, in that case, uh, how much we are paying him extra? So, that profit should be borne by A. So, we'll take that profit and give it to A, or we'll take it from A and give it to C. Yes, we will take it from A and give it to C because okay. C is already getting extra profit. You can see here as a partner, uh, sorry, as a manager, C was getting this amount, 45,000. Yes. It's a salary or a commission? It is salary. Salary is 27,000 and commission is 18,000. So total he is getting 45,000. Okay. Okay. And okay. as a partner, when he becomes a partner, he is getting a profit share of 56,250. Yes. Yes. So he is getting 11,250 extra. Yes. Okay. And this extra or excess profit is to be borne by A personally. Okay. We have to take from A's profit and give it to C. Yes. Yes. Okay, sir. Got it. Okay. Yes. So actually, <clears throat> please take the screenshot, but uh, the main solution part there is a calculation here mistake calculation mistake here if we calculate uh, this 11250 we are getting only 90000 in a share okay a share actual or after deducting the loss after adjusting C share, C excess share. So it will be 
56,000 250 minus 45,000. This is his extra share. Yes. Yes, sir. And a profit is 1 lakh 1,250 minus this. So, 1 lakh 1,250 minus 11,250, it is 90,000. Okay. Okay, sir. So, this is your profit, profit share. Okay. Yes, sir, done. Okay, so this is our portion number one. Is there any doubt in that? No, sir. In any other portion? Sir, so this 45,000, it is what? Which one? Okay, this, 45, is, this is the payment we, we were paying to see as a manager. Okay, so salary and commission both. Yes, 27,000 and 18,000. Okay, sir. Okay, so. The calculation is done here differently. The answer we are not getting. Share of profit 96,750, 72,000. Actually, there is a, a different calculation. You are required to show the profit due to him. If he can do it, I would personally want to out of his share of profit. Profit for the year ended 31st March 2016, we like 25,000. Okay. Okay. Actually, the calculation is done like this. The uh, total profit is 2,25,000. Yes. Yes. And we, we were paying. 45,000 C as a manager. Okay. Payment to C. Payment to C as a manager, 45,000. So the actual profit is the balance profit for A and B is one lakh eighty thousand. A share is one lakh eighty thousand into three by five. Their old profit. B share was one lakh eighty thousand into two by five. Now. A is getting here one lakh eight thousand. Yes, and B is getting seventy two thousand. Okay. Okay, sir. So in this one lakh eight thousand, A actual share is now one lakh eight thousand minus. 11,250. So 96,750. And B is getting 72,000. A is getting 96,750. Actually, we have done this calculation. Actually, 
uh, we have done this calculation on the basis that we are sharing profit in new ratio. Generally, we uh, share the profit in new no, ratio. No, yes. No. Yes, sir. Yes. But in this portion, there is a line written here, which by mistake, I actually uh, analyzed differently. So in terms of partnership deed, the second paragraph, any excess amount which C will be entitled to receive as a partner over the amount which would have been due to him if he continued to be manager. It means if uh, he works as manager, he continue as a manager, then he will receive 45,000. Yes. Yes. But in excess of that amount, in excess of 45,000, whatever he received as a partner will be personally borne by A. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Now, if he continue as a manager, then B will receive this amount, not 67,500. 67,500 B is receiving if he becomes a partner. You get this? So, can I repeat? Okay. If C becomes a partner, then their profit share will be this. Yes? Yes. But when C continue as manager, then his, their profit share will be this. Okay. Okay. If he becomes manager, their profit share is this one, A, B. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. And C will get 45,000. Because he is manager. Yes. So he is getting only salary and commission. So he is getting 45,000. Now, in this situation, if he is getting more, means he is getting 11,000 to 50 more. This amount is personally paid by A, 1,8,000. Okay, sir. So from 1,8,000, we deducted 11,250, you get 96,070. Okay, sir, I got it. So, so this is your total solution. Okay. So first part, in first part, actually, here, we have calculated this profit share on the basis or on the assumption that he is working as a partner. So if he works as a partner, then their profit share will be this. But uh, the question is saying that he, if he continue as a manager, then their profit share will be this. And 11,250 will be loss to be borne by A. So we have deducted 11,250 from A share of profit and he is getting 96,700. Is this clear? Yes. Okay. So this is your solution. You take a screenshot of this. Yes, you're done. Okay, so do you have any other question or that is problem? Is there the profit and loss? Appropriation profit and account? loss appropriation account? Yes. Yes. So here it will be by net profit. Two lakh twenty five thousand A, B, and C to partners capital account because there is no appropriation given. There is no interest on capital or salary of partner. So we will distribute this profit two lakh twenty five thousand two lakh. 25,000. Now, A is getting 96,750, B is getting 72,000, and C is getting 56,250. So the total is 2,25,000. This is your profit and loss appropriation. Okay, sir, done. Yes. Any other question? No, sir. 
So uh, question number two, three, and four, these are clear. Actually, I have to try them. This I was not able to do. So some other questions I did from previous homework in the book. Okay. Okay. So please try these portions or, or read any of the portion. And if there is any problem, then please ask me. Or should we continue our next chapter? Uh, I think once we should do this because I'm still not cleared with this questions. Guarantee of that. Yes? Yes. Okay. So well, let's read portion number 83 you were seeing here. Yes. Uh, should I read? Yes. Ankur, Hafna, and Disha are partners in a firm. On 1st April 2015, the balance in their capital account stood at rupees 14 lakh, ru rupees 6 lakh, and rupees 4 lakh, respectively. They shared profits in the proportion of 7 to 3 to 2, respectively. Partners are entitled to interest, interest on capital at 6% per annum and salary to Havna at rupees 50,000 per annum what? and a commission. Yeah, and commission of rupees 3000 per month to Disha as per the provisions of the partnership deed. Bhavna's share of profit, excluding interest on capital, is guaranteed at not less than rupees 1,70,000 per annum. Disha's share of profit, including interest on capital but exclu excluding salary, is guaranteed at not less than rupees 1,50,000 per annum. Any deficiency arising on that account shall be met by Ankur. The profits of the firm for the year ended 31st March 2016 amounted to rupees 9,50,000. Yes. Prepare profit and loss appropriation account. Okay. So you understood the question or? Yes, I understood. But here also the which one will come first like that have some problem. Okay. Actually, uh, first of all, all the appropriation are given. And after that appropriation, there is second paragraph, which is for guarantee of profit. Okay, so Bhavna is getting also guarantee and Disa is also getting guarantee from Anku. They both are getting guarantee from Anku. Okay. Okay. Sir. Yeah. So first of all, in uh, 9,50,000, we will calculate the balance profit, okay? So, Okay, so this is our question number. Eighty three solution. Profit and loss appropriation. Okay, so net profit is given in the portion. Um, yes, yes, it, it is, is given. Nine lakh fifty thousand. Yes, it's okay, nine fifty thousand. Thirty first two thousand six. Now, they share profit in the proportion of 7 is to 3 is to 2, okay, 
partners are entitled to a salary on capital at the uh, sorry interest on capital at the rate six percent per annum. Okay, so their capital balance opening balance is given. We have to calculate interest on capital. Fourteen lakh, six lakh, and four lakh. We have to do calculation of interest. So, working note number one: interest on capital. A fourteen lakh into six percent, and B six lakh into six percent, and for C it is four lakh into six percent. So twenty four thousand thirty six thousand and eighty four thousand. Okay. Okay, sir. So we will write this amount here: eighty-four thousand, thirty-six thousand, and twenty-four thousand. So the total is one lakh forty. Now, salary. Uh, salary to Bhavna at the rate fifteen thousand per annum, and commission of three thousand per annum to Disha. So two salary of Bhavna, or you can write Bhavna salary. It is fifty thousand per annum, and two Disha commission. It is three thousand per month, so it means thirty six thousand. Is this clear? Yes. Sir. Okay. Now we will calculate the balance. It is nine lakh fifty thousand total profit. And here it is two partners' capital account. We will distribute the profit in working note. Actually, we cannot distribute simple in simple manner, so that's why we will not distribute the profit here. So the balance is one lakh forty four six one lakh fifty one lakh eighty two lakh thirty thousand two lakh thirty thousand. So seven lakh. Twenty thousand is the balance profit. Okay. Okay, sir. Is there any doubt up to this? No, sir. Okay. This is simple actually, uh, because we have done this before. One lakh. Yes, sir. Fifty thousand. Thirty-six thousand. Fifty thousand. Okay, seven twenty. Now we will divide. The profit between parts. Working note number two: division of profit. Okay, as per the ratio, what will be their profit share? Their profit share is seven is to three is to two. So seven lakh twenty thousand into seven by twelve. As per the ratio, ratio is seven is to three is to two. Seven lakh twenty thousand into three by twelve, and for C it is seven lakh twenty thousand into two by twelve. So one lakh twenty thousand for C. Yeah. 
one lakh eighty thousand for B, and four lakh twenty thousand for A. Tell me, do you have any doubt in division of profit? No, sir. Okay. Now, what the question is saying? Now, the second paragraph. Please read along with me. Bhavna share of profit, excluding interest on capital, is guaranteed at not less than one lakh seventy thousand per month. So we have to pay one lakh seventy thousand per month, or oh, sorry, per annum to Bhavna. Yes, excluding yes. his interest on capital. So we have to minus the capital. Uh, no, no, we don't have to minus the capital. Uh, we have to pay Bhavna one lakh seventy thousand. Okay, per annum, excluding interest on capital means in this one lakh seventy thousand interest is not included. Okay, sir. So we have to pay this profit, uh, this one lakh seventy thousand, without including interest on capital. So we are paying interest on capital to Bhavna. Uh, it is thirty six thousand. Yes. So you have to minus that. No, no, we don't have to minus that. We don't have to include this. Okay, it is not included. Okay, so okay, we should not add it. Yes, we don't have to do anything with interest in uh, the profit. Okay. Okay, so this thirty six thousand is separate profit. But in second situation, you can see here that this is share of profit, including interest on cap. So here we are. Yes, in uh, add not add not that. Uh, we have to pay one lakh fifty thousand to Disha, okay. But in this fifty thousand, one lakh fifty thousand, we have to include interest on capital. Means if we are paying anything as interest on capital to Disha, then that is also included in one lakh fifty thousand. Means we have to pay in total one lakh fifty thousand. Okay, sir. So, how much amount will be payable after payment of interest to Disha? Can you tell me that? We have to minus the interest with this amount. Then we'll get the amount which we have to check. What? The interest. I think we have to minus it with one lakh fifty thousand. Okay. Yes. So now, if we talk about Disha share of profit, Disha guarantee of profit, including interest, is one lakh fifty thousand. Yes, including interest. So Disha is a C. Oh uh, yes, sorry. Uh, I have written all the name incorrect here. Yes, Disha is C, B for Bhavna, A for Ankur. Oops. Only uh, there is a problem with C. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. So Disha guarantee of profit, including interest, is one lakh fifty thousand. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. Now we are paying Disha how much interest? Twenty four thousand. Yes. Yes. So the total amount is payable to Disha is only one fifty thousand, including interest. So we have already paid interest of twenty four thousand. So how much amount is payable to Disha now. So we have to minus first one lakh fifty thousand yes. with twenty four thousand. So excluding interest, it will be one lakh fifty thousand minus twenty four thousand of interest. It will be one lakh twenty six thousand. Okay, sir. 
Okay, so one lakh twenty six thousand of profit and twenty four thousand of interest total will become one lakh fifty thousand. Yes. So we have to pay in total, not only profit. We have to pay it in total. Means, uh, if we add profit and interest on capital, then it should be equal to one lakh fifty thousand. Yes. Sir. So twenty four thousand is interest. So we will pay one lakh twenty six thousand in profit share. So total will become one lakh fifty thousand. Yes. Sir. Got. It. Okay. Now this profit we will write here. Ankur, Bhavna, and Disha. Disha is getting one lakh twenty six thousand because interest is already given here twenty four thousand. Disha. Okay. Okay. Sir. Now, Bhavna. So, Bhavna share is Bhavna share. How much share? One lakh eighty thousand. Okay. And uh, in this portion, it is said that we have to pay one lakh seventy thousand as a guaranteed profit. So, actually, in a uh, As per profit sharing ratio, we are paying more. Yes. Yes. The guarantee is one seventy, but we are paying her ah one lakh eighty thousand. One lakh eighty thousand. Yes. This. Bhavna okay, share sir. of profit. Yes. So Bhavna share of profit is more than the guaranteed profit. Yes. Yes. So which amount will be paid? One lakh eighty thousand. Okay, so one lakh eighty thousand. So it will be same because his actual share of profit is more than the guaranteed profit. So one lakh eighty thousand here. Okay. Okay, sir. And what about share of Ankur? Share of Ankur. I think we have to minus it. Share of Ankur is four twenty. Yes. Yes. And we are not paying any excess amount to Bhavna. Yes, we are not. It is same. But in case of Disha, we are actually paying him one lakh twenty six thousand. Yes. Yes, sir. So this six thousand will be deducted from. Ankur profit, yes, yes. So Ankur is getting four lakh twenty thousand, and there is a deficiency in Bhavna. We are paying him extra, so six thousand is extra. We are paying four lakh fourteen thousand. Yes, yes. Yes. So it is four lakh fourteen thousand. Is this clear now? Yes, sir. It's clear. Let me uh, explain one time more. Uh, the total profit was nine fifty, and from this nine fifty, we have deducted appropriation first. That is interest on capital, Babna salary, Disha commission. After deducting all these, the balance profit is seven lakh twenty thousand, which we have to distribute between Ankur, Bhavna, and Disha. Okay, so there is a line written here that Bhavna profit should not be less than one lakh seventy thousand, but as per profit sharing ratio, we are paying Bhavna one lakh eighty thousand. So it is more than the guaranteed profit. So. Total amount is paid to Bhavna one lakh eighty thousand. You can see here. Yes. Yes. Now, in case of Disha, it is said that her profit share will be one lakh fifty thousand. One lakh fifty thousand. But it is including interest, and we are already paid twenty four thousand as interest to Disha. 
Yes. Yes. So now we will pay one lakh fifty thousand minus twenty four thousand. That is one lakh twenty six thousand. So in twenty six thousand. Okay. Okay, sir. Now, uh, Disha actual share of profit is one lakh twenty thousand as per profit sharing ratio. Yes. But we are we are paying him uh, paying her one lakh twenty six thousand. That is six thousand extra. Yes. So. This six thousand will be deducted from unpaid profit share. That is four lakh twenty thousand. So four lakh twenty thousand minus six thousand. It is four lakh fourteen thousand. Sir, how did we get to know that we have to pay six thousand? Okay, his profit share is one lakh twenty thousand here. Yes. And actually, we have paid him, paid her, how much amount? One lakh fifty thousand. This. One lakh twenty-six. Fifty thousand is including twenty-four thousand. Okay, sir. Okay, got it. Okay, so one twenty-six we are actually paying here. So okay. this six thousand is extra, which is deducted from. Okay, sir. got it. So this is your solution. Is there any other doubt? No, sir. Okay. so uh, you have to prepare these portion again okay by yourself okay sir so i will do it okay and uh, try to do some portion from your book also so yes we will discuss these portions again in our next class and uh,